Prayer is an important activity in Christianity, and there are several different forms of Christian prayer. Christian prayers are diverse, they can be completely spontaneous, or read entirely from a text, like the Anglican Book of Common Prayer. The most common prayer among Christians is the Lord's Prayer, which according to the Gospel accounts, e.g., Matthew chapter 6 verses 9 to 13 is how Jesus taught his disciples to pray. The Lord's Prayer is a model for prayers of adoration, confession and petition in Christianity. A broad, three-stage characterization of prayer begins with vocal prayer, then moves on to a more structured form in terms of meditation, then reaches the multiple layers of contemplation or intercession. There are two basic settings for Christian prayer: corporate or public and private. Corporate prayer includes prayer shared within the worship setting or other public places. These prayers can be formal written prayers or informal extemporaneous prayers. Private prayer occurs with the individual praying either silently or aloud within a private setting. Prayer exists within multiple different worship contexts and may be structured differently. These types of contexts may include liturgical, often seen within the Catholic Church. This is a very orthodox service, according to Catholics. Within a Catholic Mass, which is an example of a liturgical form of worship, there are Bible readings and a sermon is read. Often seen within the Holy Orthodox Church. The Holy Bible is read and a sermon is read. Non-liturgical Often seen within Evangelical Church, this prayer is often not scripted and would be more informal in structure. Most of these prayers would be extemporaneous. Charismatic Often seen within Gospel churches. It is the main form of worship in Pentecostal churches. It usually includes song and dance, and may include other artistic expressions. There may be no apparent structure, but the worshippers will be led by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Background Prayer in the New Testament is presented as a positive command, Colossians chapter 4 verse 2, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17. The people of God are challenged to include prayer in their everyday life, even in the busy struggles of marriage, 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 5, as it is thought to bring the faithful closer to God. Throughout the New Testament, prayer is shown to be God's appointed method by which the faithful obtain what he has to bestow. Matthew chapter 7 verses 7 to 11, Matthew chapter 9 verses 24 to 29, Luke chapter 11 verse 13. Prayer, according to the book of Acts, can be seen at the first moments of the church Acts chapter 3 verse 1. The apostles regarded prayer as an essential part of their lives. Acts chapter 6 verse 4, Romans chapter 1 verse 9, Colossians chapter 1 verse 9. As such, the apostles frequently incorporated verses from Psalms into their writings. Romans chapter 3 verses 10 to 18 for example is borrowed from Psalm chapter 14 verses 1 to 3 and other Psalms. Thus, due to this emphasis on prayer in the early church, lengthy passages of the New Testament are prayers or canticles. See also the Book of Odes, such as the Prayer for Forgiveness, Mark chapter 11 verses 25 to 26, the Lord's Prayer, the Magnificat, Luke chapter 1 verses 46 to 55, the Benedictus, Luke chapter 1 verses 68 to 79, Jesus's prayer to the one true God, John chapter 17, exclamations such as Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians chapter 1 verses 3 to 14, the believer's prayer, Acts chapter 4 verses 23 to 31. May this cup be taken from me. Matthew chapter 26 verses 36 to 44. Pray that you will not fall into temptation. Luke chapter 22 verses 39 to 46, Saint Stephen's prayer, Acts chapter 7 verses 59 to 60, Simon Magus prayer, Acts chapter 8 verse 24. Pray that we may be delivered from wicked and evil men. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verses 1 to 2 and Maranatha, 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 22. Topic Types of prayer Topic Liturgical prayers 
Elements of the oldest Christian prayers may be found in liturgy such as the Roman Catholic Mass, the Orthodox Divine Liturgy, the Anglican Book of Common Prayer, and the Lutheran Book of Worship. <laughs> Seasonal prayers Many denominations that adhere to a liturgical tradition use specific prayers geared to the season of the liturgical year, such as Advent, Christmas, Lent and Easter. Some of these prayers are found in the Roman Breviary, the Liturgy of the Hours, the Orthodox Book of Needs and the Anglican Book of Common Prayer. <laughs> Prayer to saints The ancient Church, in both Eastern Christianity and Western Christianity, developed a tradition of asking for the intercession of deceased saints, and this remains the practice of most Eastern Orthodox, Oriental Orthodox, Roman Catholic, and some Anglican churches. Churches of the Protestant Reformation however rejected prayer to the saints, largely on the basis of the sole mediatorship of Christ. The reformer Huldrych Zwingli admitted that he had offered prayers to the saints until his reading of the Bible convinced him that this was idolatrous. <inaudible> <inaudible> Meditation and contemplative prayer Christian meditation is a structured attempt to get in touch with and deliberately reflect upon the revelations of God. The word meditation comes from the Latin word meditare, which has a range of meanings including to reflect on, to study and to practice. Christian meditation is the process of deliberately focusing on specific thoughts such as a Bible passage and reflecting on their meaning in the context of the love of God. Christian meditation aims to heighten the personal relationship based on the love of God that marks Christian communion. At times there may be no clear-cut boundary between Christian meditation and Christian contemplation and they overlap. Meditation serves as a foundation on which the contemplative life stands, the practice by which someone begins the state of contemplation. In contemplative prayer, this activity is curtailed, so that contemplation has been described as a gaze of faith, a silent love. Meditation and contemplation are components of the rosary, encouraged by the magisterium. Intercessory prayer This kind of prayer involves the believer taking the role of an intercessor, praying on behalf of another individual, group or community, or even a nation. Topic ejaculatory prayer Ejaculatory prayer is the use of very brief exclamations. Saint Augustine remarked that the Egyptian Christians who withdrew to a solitary life are said to say frequent prayers, but very brief ones that are tossed off as in a rush, so that a vigilant and keen intention, which is very necessary for one who prays, may not fade away and grow dull over longer periods. Examples of such prayers are given in the old Rakolta under the numbers 19, 20, 38, 57, 59, 63, 77, 82, 83, 133, 100. 154, 166, 181. The Rakolta, Index of Prayers and Pious Works contained in this collection, they are also known as aspirations, invocations, or exclamations and include the Jesus Prayer. Johnson's Dictionary defined ejaculation as a short prayer darted out occasionally, without solemn retirement. Such pious ejaculations are part also of the Liturgy of the Church of England. Topic. Listening prayer Listening prayer is a type of Christian prayer. As compared with the traditional Christian prayer, the listening prayer method demands, "...hearing and discerning God's voice through prayer and scripture, then obeying the Lord's direction in personal ministry." Traditional Christian prayer requested people to thank God, as well as tell God their own request. When their prayers seemed unanswered, some would feel that God did not hear them or did not respond to them. Listening prayer asks, Was it that God did not respond to you, or was it that you did not hear from God? Listening prayer requires those praying to calm their minds down and read the scripture. 
During the reading, some sentences may pop into mind, as if in answer to the prayers but listening prayers are also of two types one is normally listening to church father and second is prayer with music nowadays prayer with music is considered as prayer music or prayer song. <laughs> prayer books and tools Prayer books as well as tools such as prayer beads such as chaplets are used by Christians. Images and icons are also associated with prayers in some Christian denominations. There is no one prayer book containing a set liturgy used by all Christians, however many Christian denominations have their own local prayer books, for example, Book of Common Prayer the traditional Anglican prayer book, still in use or modified by the constituent churches of the Anglican Communion, and one of the most influential prayer books in the English language Agenda, name for book for liturgies, especially in Lutheran Church. The Roman Breviary traditional Roman Catholic monastic hours. The Book of Psalms The Rackhalter Book of Indulgence Prayers for Catholics See also Christian mysticism Intercession Prayer in the New Testament Roman Catholic prayer Roman Catholic prayers to Jesus References and footnotes Topic. External links Carol, James. Prayer from Where We Are. In Series, Witness Book S. 13, and also in Christian Experience Series. Dayton, Ohio, G.A. Flaum, 1970. St. Thomas Aquinas. Prayers of St. Thomas Aquinas. Liturgies.net. Archived from the original on February 2, 2013. Saint Augustine of Hippo. Prayers of Saint Augustine of Hippo. Villanova.edu. Archived from the original on 1 October 2018. Retrieved October 1, 2018. Matthew Henry. A Method for Prayer, 1710, The Protestant Book of Hours. MrMatthewHenry.com. Archived from the original on 12 October 2013. Retrieved 12 November 2013, free ebooks and audiobooks. How to pray for your church using a prayer walk and posted prayer notes. Prayerideas.org. September 26, 2015. Archived from the original on February 27, 2017. Retrieved October 1, 2018.